Hey everybody, Robert Dove, founder of Art Top 10, and here we are at Freeze Masters 2017. There we go, here's a Freeze Master from the outside. Actually, it looks like a pretty big place from the outside, doesn't it? Nice uh, Philip Guston, move back a bit so you actually see it properly without crushing anybody. There you go, lovely colours in there actually. It's got really nice pinky things, very reminiscent of the colours he had in his um, abstract stuff. Pablo Picasso. Not necessarily one of those best Picassos, but it's always fun to see a Picasso lurking around. Jean de Buffet. I'm not sure I've ever really been a mega fan of Jean de Buffet, but um, it's quite funky that. It's actually quite contemporary now. You see these circles in the top left hand corner. Surprisingly contemporary. Um, orange around here, something a bit more freaky. I guess even a Breeze Master's going to have a few freaky bits these days. Over there, more classical sort of sculpture. Now that's around here, it's actually quite cool, which is like a weird recreation of Peter Blake's uh, studio with its paintings inside. And his paintings are absolutely fantastic. I think really nicely, really nicely painted. Really cool, got such lovely sort of shadows and tonality. And you can see the sense of it being painted and repainted and worked on. Mambo Rambo. <coughs> They're just such lovely, lovely paintings. But these seem to be actually genuine like bits of stuff from his studio. Um, you can see like here sort of bits of things he might have been chopping up and rulers and scissors and all sorts of different things so we've got. And then paintings within that. Especially really cool. Really interesting. Really interesting. Lovely elephant. I mean, it's partly just so good because his paintings are just really nicely done. Really good paintings, real tonality to them. Just done so carefully. Really, really good. And this little train, pretty cool. A lovely ship. Look at that, amazing. Amazing stuff. And over here, look, a bit of Egyptian stuff. From one extreme to the other, just bizarre, isn't it? And over here, you've got like a, a sort of antique vase sculptures. Oh man, look at sarcophagus and a giant eagle. Slightly bizarre. And a well, pyramid is obviously by somebody else. Keith Herring, I'm guessing. But the um, sarcophagus is cool. Now, Julian Schnabel. I wonder who is doing these big, big paintings. Eight compositions executed in 1994. These historic abstract landscapes have never been seen together until now. Well, I'm not sure they're historic, but they're big and they're quite um, striking. Oh, there's quite a lot, a bit of these, uh, actually quite a lot of the Julian, Sh Julian Schnabel things. They're big, big paintings, I mean really big, which is uh, quite nice, quite striking. The size of them is just generally quite striking in itself. Um, that's of course one of the things you get at Freeze Masters, you get like these um, Antiquities, which was quite interesting. No idea whether or not these are, you know, really good antiquities or normal antiquities, but it's quite surreal to think of um, wandering in here and buying something that would be in a um, proper museum. But it's fascinating. I always find those uh, this bit quite fascinating. And of course, I oh, got over here a little bit of. There's a bit of Henry Moore. This is a bit of um, <coughs> Graham Sutherland. It's quite nice. A bit of Graham Sutherland looking there. A bit of Paul Nash over here. Um, then you've got some nice, like, uh, you got, it must be a bit of Henry Moore. Oh, nice drawing, actually. Nicely drawn. you got a bit of uh, Albach. Thank you, Albert. Oh, look at that, that's a lovely painting. Victor Passmore, that's absolutely stunning. That is absolutely fantastic. That. It's got a little kind of pinky hint in it, but it's absolutely brilliant. And there's sort of different textures of the paint and the trees. I would get that instantly if I could. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, wandering on through here, you've got a few uh, David Hockney drawings, one of those ones of uh, Celia, 
And then uh, there we've got in my room. I love these drawings. They're absolutely brilliant. Love the folds of those curtains. Absolutely stunning. I think they're really cool. And then look, the sort of drawing drifts away at the top and it falls apart into a drawing, which is nice. Oh, Barbara Hepburn as well. I always like a bit of Babs. Patrick Caulfield. Strangely bright bit of pink in that Patrick Caulfield. Um, moving on from there, we'll move around. Got some, uh, these appear to be um, sort of plates, maybe Arabic inspired plates, um, tiles. I don't know, look over here, these are the sort of weird things you get in freeze masters uh like atlases sort of atlas history books extraordinary isn't it on down here we've got some uh larger paintings in the back there some little small ones always entertaining to look at the restaurants at these places oh that, what is that is that a um oh here we go a lovely bit of um ah uh, Ecker. Look at that with the shadows, fantastic stuff. Really good thing. Really, really nice. I did some nail paintings before I realised he'd done those as well. Um, these people chilling out, enjoying themselves in the Japanese restaurant. Um, moving on around here, got Hazlid Holland Hibbert. This big red chair, which sure reminds me of something. A big red chair. Tony Bevan. Coming on through, I should think that over there is going to be a Leon Kossoff, yeah, that's what I thought. It seems to go for incredible amounts of money, these Leon Kossoffs, much more than I would have thought so. But is that a, uh, yeah, a Leon Kossoff as well, very nice. Head on over here. Let's do a um, <clears throat> right down here, Man Ray photographs. You got a fantastic collection of sort of herbs of different kinds of work and people. And it is the, I mean, Freeze Masters is always, always fascinating for that. You just got such classic stuff around it the whole time. Um, moving on down here, uh, look at these like African masks, it's always entertaining, a bit of an African mask, remind you of how Picasso used to use those African masks, oh, little drawings of sort of people fighting with bears, <clears throat> more of the African masks, uh, and then we've got a bit of that guy whose name I can't remember, uh, Otto Mule or somebody else. I didn't think that was Otto Mule. Um, on down here, you've got some nice Un Ulf Reina. Oh, yeah, and the more strange things over here, like more like sort of punch cartoon uh, section, suddenly drifting into a different kind of style of works. And over here, Shapiro Rare Books. Oh, intriguing. Quite intriguing the different books we've got in here. Look at that, that's nice. And you've got them actually down here in the paper, which is cool. With a um, uh, rather nice Andy oh, Warhol there. Yeah. Strolling past. <clears throat> got a dreadful cold, so sorry if that makes the commentary a bit <coughs> rambling. Buford Delaunay. No, I don't know quite who Buford Delaunay is. But anyway, let's roll on down here and see what happens. Quite a fascinating little Nicolas de Stahl. Just a teeny, teeny, tiny one. And a bigger one over here. Quite interesting. And pre the sort of abstract stuff. I always quite like these uh, Tom Wesselman uh, things. I think they're called. These are freaky. Like, um, stuck on the wall bits of plastic I think he's got quite a nice sort of drawing ability I always quite like that, it's quite simple maybe you could say it's not focused enough but I think there's something quite nice about it 
a little one here of some bread and a massive one here of a radio this will be too big that one but simple it's got a nice sort of formal qualities of the shapes and the circles always like that got a freaky sort of inverse one over there I always like to see a few Indian miniatures in here look at these absolutely fantastic I love the Indian miniatures extraordinary fascinating pictures so cool really amazing paintings I always really enjoy seeing them just lovely just saw Peter Blake in the Lee, which was slightly surreal um, not the weirdest spot ever here at Freeze Masters was the other year when um, Harrison Ford was wandering around just very uh, low-key casually strolling through the place and as he casually strolled through the place people went completely mental and started chasing him one of them almost fell over <coughs> but um, he remained uber cool as he strolled around I can resist taking a picture of this what appears to be a giant gigantic uh, sort of Mexican headpiece you know much taller than a human as you can see from the humans nearby absolutely massive quite bizarre there's more aboriginal sculpture suddenly there's loads of people here it's quite empty to start with, but it's uh, hotting up uh, this afternoon wondering oh look at that is that a sigma polka do the lava bit of sigma polka I think that must be, look at it, really cool, so simple, so few things in it, but they always have that weird, magical, mystical sense to them, every single painting, that's just one of his big work on paper, really, really cool, very nice, indeed, I haven't seen many of those uh, today, there's only quite a few Sigma Polkas, right? a bit low on the ground, Sigma Polkas so far, and you got Van der Vey with a big, um, as ever, names losing me today completely. But um, I'm sure they had exactly the same picture last time, which is a bit strange. Oh, I love those Andy Warhols with the guns. Oh, it's like that. Totally forgot his name. But um, I think those are really cool, those little Andy Warhols. Just such lovely colours. That's why I always think did a nice colour. Lovely little Andy Warhol head. A few Picassos hiding in that back room. Come back out again. <coughs> on. Down through here. Let's see if we can find some more Sigma Polka. I can't believe that's the only one in here. Um, extraordinary, you always get these paintings like this. Philippe Jacobin Barre. Look at that. Extraordinary kind of thing. All these things at Freeze Masters, always amazing. Uh, fascinating the different kind of things you get. In reality, when you think about it, you've probably actually got a far more radical selection of art here than you have at Freeze. You actually drift from like those sort of classical things straight into something like this where you've got a Guntaraka on the wall. You don't get that actually in Freeze London, you only get that at Freeze Masters. We've got a more, more radical shift of history in a shorter space of time. I'm not thinking I should know you that's by it. Oh, 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 I was freaking nearly just passed out. Just getting a bit too tired with the cold. Right. <coughs> Thought there'd have to be some more Sigma Polka here somewhere. Um, and I'm assuming there's a Sigma Polka. Look at that. So simple. Intriguing, isn't it? Just hopped on the wall like that. Fantastic. Splurge of paint across that pattern. Always like those things. They're such a surreal, sort of psychedelic quality to them. Truly enough, by a Basquiat and um, Andy Warhol. Good combo. I wonder which is better than that. That's probably quite a fair thing to say, but they're both a bit surreal. This pork has got a little sort of head on the top left of there. But I find the um, Sigma Polka's a lot more sophisticated. 
that's probably a, it's quite nice this uh this gallery Thaddeus Road Pack around here. And they've got one of those uh dudes on the ground. I always like these dudes on the ground, they're actually quite quite good, I think. Anthony Gormley of course is the name I'm looking for. Um <coughs> very nice. Oh, you got one of them, Patrick Hawthorne. I was like a bit of Patrick Hawthorne. A little bit of David Hockney drawing. Oh, might not be aiming properly. Another David Hockney drawing. That's Patrick Hawthorne. Another seafood. Seafood view. Fascinating section. Oh man, look at those. those old, um, old sort of Bibles. Oh, it's absolutely extraordinary stuff you find here. Look at how coloured they are. Look if they've been touched up or if they are. Amazingly coloured. By the way, what a dream. Down here you've got what sort of looks a bit like, oh look at that, oh, I've missed this, fantastic Ivan Hitchens, I love a bit of Ivan Hitchens man, look at that, <coughs> so fantastic painting, look at that, you've got lovely different brush strokes, brush marks, thick, thin paint, lines, shapes, paint put on different way the whole time, just really, really good basically, absolutely beautiful. We've got other, you know, nice, uh, maybe totally forgotten. Nice Barbara Hepworths down here. There you go, a few little Gerhards in the corner. Lovely Barbara Hepworths, obviously. Look at that, it's really good. Oh, look at that over there in the corner. Lovely little Patrick Heron. Let's go and have a look at him. Let's go and see if we can get through. Sneak past these people. Oh, little Barbara had a mock up of that thing that's in her garden. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's already gone. How much was it? I'll tell. How much it was. But look at that. Fantastic little painting. Just so beautiful. So simple. Hush. Basic. Absolutely. There's one beautiful bending of some as well. Nice. Oh, oh, lovely. Barbara Hatton is around here. As a student. Fantastic stuff. Absolute cracking stuff. Really, really good, this one here. So, man, is that a. Um... No, it's not. It looks desperately like a Pontalus painting, but it isn't. <laughs> yeah, Richter's. <clears throat> Reminded me to that small Patrick Heron's Richter's. Terrifying, I mean, that is what is frightening about the Gerhard Richter. £675,000. Nearly a million pounds in these little babies. Amazing. Amazing. Is it worth it? I mean, you can make that at home yourself. Couldn't you? <clears throat> Quite easily. Would it look very different? No, it wouldn't. Quite funny the people here, they like a sort of type. They all look quite grumpy. The one that just nearly walked into me, just looked grumpy. What was I doing in the way? What was I doing there? Disgraceful. Ooh, might get run into in my now. Um, <clears throat> anyway, wandering down here. See what happens now. I think if you look over there on your left, or where I'm aiming the thing, you'll see Peter Blake sitting on a sofa inside his little studio. There he is. There he is sitting there inside his uh, studio. Um, it's quite fun. I was intrigued by Sean Scully. Not sure if they're brilliant or sort of average. But I do like looking at this one. It's got sort of different blacks to it, which is quite nice. Uh, I mean, he's very sensitively painted, actually, the way the watercolours just gently touch over each other. So it's actually quite beautiful. Um, more obviously beautiful than the oil paintings. Um, which is quite interesting. <coughs> Expressionism, Expressionism in Europe, can't really pronounce it with the cold. But um, obviously, you've got loads of things here that are pretty impressive. Like this uh, Koshna, Kieshna. Um, it's amazing what you can see here. There's some more Kirchners down here, they are Jelinski, so um, another Kirchner, amazing stuff you get to see. 
Oh, that beautiful little drawing of Shulin. Fantastic. <coughs> so much easier to appreciate the things here than um, in uh, freeze itself. I don't know, it's a bit of a whinge, but it always seems to be this absolute carry stuff every single time you come here. Um, which doesn't always blow me away, but anyway, the thing is basically amazing. I really enjoyed it actually, I found it quite inspiring. All the different things you see here, really quite inspiring. So there we go, that was the uh, Freeze uh, Masters. Absolutely brilliant actually, really, really enjoyed it. Loads of uh, things to inspire you as an artist. I don't know, maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I find it easier to be inspired by the things here than the things that freeze. Maybe it freeze, you feel a bit too much light. I wish my stuff was there. Whereas here, it's not going to be here. So um, it's less feeling of competitiveness and it's easier to um, just enjoy. Anyway, absolutely brilliant. Really, really enjoyed this. Fascinating things to see. Always absolutely amazing what you can actually see at Freeze Masters. Just like, stunning stuff absolutely extraordinary so would hardly recommend it um absolutely fantastic coming here so do subscribe um like all these things that'd be absolutely brilliant and uh au revoir thank you very much bye guys Bomb